Are you ready to have your website get found by the right people? Are you looking to rank at the top of Google so you get more traffic to your website? Are you ready to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your organic traffic? If so, you are in the right place, my friend. Welcome to the Simple SEO Content Podcast, where I show you how to combine the power of SEO, search engine optimization, and content marketing to build your like, know, and trust factor with your audience, which allows you to get found by the right people and turn those visitors into buyers. No more frustration or confusion and no more time wasted wondering if you're doing your SEO right. It's time to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your business. Hi, welcome back to the Simple Marketing and SEO Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Lind Tigan, and today we have a really great topic. This was a question that was submitted through our Google form. If you have a question you'd like me to address on the podcast, make sure you're clicking that link. I'll put it in the description or the show notes so that you can find that question link and submit yours. So the question today came from Heather, and she wants to know, do old blog posts hurt my website or blog's SEO? So Maybe, <laughs> potentially, it depends. And I know that's not the best answer, but let's dig in because I want you to understand how you can determine whether or not you're in a situation where your old blog posts are beneficial or they're hurting you. Because if they're hurting you, there are some things that you need to do to take care of the situation so that you don't damage your website's ability to rank for more keywords, to drive more traffic, to help you make more money. So first things first, I want you to look at those old blog posts and I want you to determine, are they still relevant to your business? If you have pivoted, if you've switched, you've shifted, and you have a bunch of content from an old business or from an old blog that really isn't relevant today, it's potentially hurting you. And so we need to do something with it. Now, if they're still aligned with your current offers, they still align with your products and services, but maybe they're outdated, maybe they link to freebies that you don't have anymore, or they mention products or services that you don't sell anymore. These could be hurting you as well. So we need to do something with them to make them so that they're going to work better for you. The next thing I want you to think about, and I want you to look at them and read them and make sure, are they helpful? Does your blog post truly tell your ideal customer, your reader, something of value? Is there insight and information in there that maybe they can't get somewhere else? Or did you potentially just write it to rank? You know, five years ago, you wrote this blog post because you wanted to rank for a certain keyword and you really don't provide much value to your ideal customer. If you're answering no to any of these, it doesn't really align with my product or service anymore. It has an outdated call to action. It links to an outdated freebie or an outdated product. It's from a different era in my business. It's not really super helpful. Then the answer here to your question, do old blog posts hurt my SEO is probably because Google has changed and gotten more advanced over the last decade. And Google's had a number of algorithm updates and they have all been centered around the quality of your content. Google today really wants you to provide value for your ideal customer. They want your content to be helpful. They want it to be written. People first content is what they're asking for, meaning you write it for your ideal customer or your reader, not the search engine. So you really need to make sure that the content you have is super valuable. The other thing I want you to understand is that EEAT, Experience, Expertise, Authority, and Trust. This came out from Google maybe a year or so ago. And this is how Google is now grading every individual page on your website or blog. And what Google is looking for is to make sure that it's ranking pages 
and blog posts and websites from authoritative sites, trustworthy sites, ones where the person who's writing it actually have experience working on this. They have expertise, they have background in it. So if you have content that really doesn't align, let's just say far extreme example, okay, you're a food blogger, you focus on desserts, and you have a post on the best microphone for recording a podcast. You're not really an expert in that. Even if you're a podcaster, even if you have a podcast about baking, you're still not really an expert in that because your whole blog is about baking, not podcasting. Google really wants you to kind of stay in your own lane. So if you have content that Google might feel is very irrelevant, this could potentially hurt you. So what do you do if you're finding that you're listening to this and you're like, okay, I do have old blog posts. They aren't really relevant to what I'm doing now. They maybe aren't great. They maybe are super outdated. You may be wondering, what do you do? So you have three different things that you can do if you're in this situation. And I want you to think about what's going to be the best course of action. Now I do teach an entire module on how to do things like this within simple SEO content. So if you have a big blog that you've had for years and you're not really sure what to do with it and you want to be able to come in and take the class, join me in simple SEO content or schedule some one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions and you and I can go through this together. But if you need, you know, you're listening to the podcast, you're doing this on your own, what I want you to understand is you have three options basically. One is to remove. So whatever the old outdated content is, you can remove it. You can delete it. More likely, more appropriate would be to do a redirect, especially if maybe you've had pins on Pinterest or people have shared links to that blog post in the past. A 301, that's a permanent redirect. A 301 redirect to a landing page or to a different blog post or to just your blog homepage could be a good option. The other thing you can do is to update it. If it is outdated, but it's still relevant, it still ties to your business, it still ties to your products and services, it just needs to be refreshed, refresh it, my friend. That old blog, if you refresh and you update and then you update your optimization and you choose a new keyword and you do your SEO on it, those old blog posts can actually be revived and can help you to grow your business today. So if you're in a situation like that, you're not sure how to go about this, let's work together. Join me in class, schedule some one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions, whatever it is, I can help you figure this out and I would love to help you figure this out. I'm here to help you succeed. That really is my biggest goal is to help you. So if you've got old blog posts and you're wondering if they're hurting your SEO, there's a good chance they are and there are steps that you can take to turn things around so that they will actually help you in the long run. All right. If you have any questions, you know how to find me. Um, DM me on Insta at Etched Marketing Academy or reply back to your weekly email or just send me an email through the website and let's talk because I would love to be able to help you with this. All right. Thanks for being here. I will see you next week. Bye for now. That's all for today's episode of the Simple SEO Content Podcast. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you visit my website, etchedmarketing.com, and visit the freebies tab. Right there, you're going to find the SEO Content Quick Start Guide along with the free SEO class. So you'll have everything you need to know to get started with SEO and content marketing. Then do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, if you would do a rating and a review of this podcast on your favorite platform, that would really help spread the message. And I do greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Instagram at Etched Marketing Academy, and I will see you right back here next week.